Hello peeps, this is BusyB from Samploids.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a jungle beat in Renoise. So we have here Renoise version 3 and we have the BusyB Tropage sample pack which is also available from Samploids.com. Sorry, Samploids.co.uk. And first of all, we're going to look for sound. So we go into the sounds folder. If you press Alt and I believe it's left click mouse button you can um, do something that's called set focus here uh, which allows you to use your arrow keys on that selection pretty handy and it also makes it playback um, a play playback a, a, a kind of preview so we're going to look for a nice sound So here we go. So as you can see, I've already preloaded that sound in, which is called Mate Bass. Okay, so that sounds pretty cool. So, oh, so here we go. So we're going to go to the track, and we're going to lay it down. So we press the Escape key. Actually, first of all, let's set the tempo. So the tempo is going to be say 175. Now you can listen to. Click this to hear a, a metronome. And this, the reason why I like this program is because it's it's really cool. It's it's kind of like um, old school Octomed for those who are bang into the old Amiga stuff. So uh, yeah, so let's have a look. Mm, okay, not bad. So let's give that go. So here we go. Okay, so you notice when I put this down, it's kind of got off um, marks on it, and you can move those by pressing, I believe it's the caps lock key. Um, I think on my, there we go, yep, we've got it. So we're going to move them down just so that it gives it a little bit more space, it's not cutting off so much. Another way to sort of solve this problem is to go into the effects section, but, uh, which I'll probably explain a little bit more later. So, here we go. Okay, so that's not too bad. Okay, so that's sounding much better. So, we're going to label the track, bass. Next, we're going to go to the next track, and we're going to look for a beat. So we go to the next sample, and then we go to the beat section, which should be here. Okay, these are all chopped up, so that's cool. Now, we could just grab one and program up the whole lot, but I'll show you an easier way to do it. That would be for more advanced users. So let's try pure amens. Okay. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to grab that. We're going to pop that in there. So we're going to get the speed of it. Now, if you want to adjust the... Oh, by the way, I'm using the keyboard um, keys to play these in. And that's exactly how we used to do it back in the day. So, next step would be to go press number three which will take us to the audio editor. And as you can see, let me change the octave. Now, just a tip. Um, like I've got here, um, it's a good idea just to have the, 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 bar and the, the drum loop set to just, just one loop. It makes it a little bit easier to time it up. Now, if you go to sample properties here, you can then tick beat sync. Now what that does, I'm not sure what it does, but it makes it in time with um, your song, providing you type the right number in here. So what I usually do is I would type say 32, and that will give you an exact timed 
version of your loop. Now, quick way to put this in would be to go here and type, I believe it's 16 here, and then turn on the edit key, and that will put one of those every 16. Okay. Sounding a little bit out of time, so what I would do now is go back into here and zoom in on this section here. See if there's a gap at the start. But sometimes you get little gaps at the start and they can cause your beat to sound off. Now let's try again. Well, that's still sounding wonky. Now why is that? What have I done? This is a puzzle. This doesn't seem like it's in time. Maybe we're going to have to move this down a bit. Let's have a look. Just time this up to the metronome a bit. Okay, guys. This is a, a, a real live troubleshoot. It sounds too fast. Hold on. Let's go 33. That sounds better. Strange, though. It's so strange it's got to be 33, though. This looks odd. All right, never mind. Okay, so another cool function in here uh, is the slice tool. So from here now, we can do get the uh, slice key, <coughs> the slice pointer, and then you can see where the snare starts. Chop on the snare. Okay, so that's the first slice. Okay, so that's where the first slice starts from. This is really odd. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Right, so if you turn this little button off here, it stops it from following you. It's following your view. Okay, great. Now that sounds a little bit slower. So what we're going to do? We're going to make that number one. Make this number two. All right, you have to excuse me, guys. Um, I'm, I usually use the desktop for this. <clears throat> but I'm actually on the laptop at the moment, and the, the key structure is a little bit different. That yeah, sounds better. Let's put another slice here. Let's say get a little shuffle in there. That's a bit ugly. Let's go back a bit. Okay, so here we go. Okay, one more thing. If you turn this on, it will scroll with it, with it. If you turn this off, it won't scroll. And this is quite, that's kind of handy for doing edits. Okay, so now we're going to turn off this 16 advanced thing. It's kind of annoying when you're working. But it's great, don't get me wrong. But it's annoying when you're doing this sort of thing.
pretty cool. Right, so let's see. That was quite nice. Right, so we get that, loop it over. Now, let's see, there we go. We're gonna go to here, select it, hold down the shift key, press there with the mouse, click copy, and then paste here. I hope I did that right. It didn't look like it. Oh, this is going really well. Brilliant tutorial. Right, copy, paste. Okay, so that's nearly there. I want to go that one. Okay, so I can bit that one. Mm, I think we should scrap that. It's not quite right. And I've got to say, what's that acting with? Right, so. Okay, so copy from here. Watch me work, guys. Okay, so that goes there, another one there. Okay. So we're doing that in stages now, yeah? Because it's giving me nightmares. So. Okay, so that one will go there. coming together now I mean, that was a that was a bit of a battle um, yeah so there you go all right so what else we got let's get another snare pop that in let's see if those two snares sound different Two advanced. I think we should have this on one advance for this edit and start again. Okay. Nice. Okay, guys, there you have it. A jungle. If you like what you see, please subscribe below as I'm going to be uploading a lot more tutorials. This is your boy BusyBee signing out. Peace.